In today's video, I am opening a massive childhood collection. What's up guys, we're back with another childhood collection opening. We don't do this very often. This is a little bit different than some of the other collections because sometimes you'll see me buying like $10,000 collection or something. That's more stuff that's recently people have been putting together. Childhood collection is more like when you were a child, you had all these cards. Some of them were good, some of them were bad. A lot of them were bad. Some were in terrible condition, nostalgic condition you could call it. Most of them were in fact. So this one is something more like that. But before we get into the story of it and everything, let's do the giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards, Ghost Knight of Jackal, first edition we have goblin attack force and pharaoh servant and visor shock just like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below about your childhood collection do you want to see more of these in the future do you like mixing these in with the more expensive like you know not necessarily newer but like recently put together like sometimes like they've collected a lot of old stuff but they have done it recently like in the last year or so would you like to see more stuff where it hasn't been touched since they were a kid this video is sponsored by factor skip the grocery stores prep work and cooking fatigue instead get chef crafted dietitian approved meals delivered right to your doorstep as you guys know i'm a big fan of factor i'm always working from home because i'm making videos i'm opening cards i'm posting stuff on my website i'm buying collections and going through them all that different stuff happens at home so i either have to leave and go buy something fast food or whatever or I have to go to the grocery store prepare it everything but with factor it comes right to the doorstep open it up and I just cook it in two minutes, it's ready to go. And because I'm traveling to YCS Raleigh tomorrow, I have so much to do today, and eating Factor in two minutes basically saved me about an hour of time that I would've had to go get something at fast food or cook something here. All I did was make my way to my kitchen, pull the meal out of the refrigerator, put it in the microwave for two minutes, and bam, it was ready to go. I chose the chicken Alfredo pasta, and wow, it was amazing. Like for a two minute meal that's just been sitting in your refrigerator, I was really impressed. And Factor also has a weekly menu of 35 options, including popular options like Calorie Smart, Keto, Protein Plus, or Vegan and Veggie. Also discover more than 60 add-ons every week like breakfast, on-the-go lunch, snacks, and beverages to help you stay fueled and feel good all day long. So what are you waiting for? If you guys wanna save time every day making meals or preparing meals, Factors for you. Use my link to get 50% off your Factor box and 20% off your next month of orders. Thanks again to Factor for sponsoring this video. Okay, so I'm gonna get this thing out. Uh, basically, there's three boxes here. I have no idea what's in here. So Chaotic Meatball Sean, he's a friend of the channel. He's a Pokemon guy, he likes Yu-Gi-Oh a lot as well. So one of his viewers wanted to send him a collection. So he asked me if I wanted to open it up and then send it to him. I'm actually gonna see him at Raleigh, so I'm taking it to him there. So I said, sure, why not? Let's see what's inside. So none of this is mine, it won't be for sale. A lot of people will send me messages, hey, oh, I'm trying to buy stuff. When I've said in the video, it's not for sale, it's not mine. So I'm gonna make it clear here before you even get into the video, can't buy any of this stuff. But if you do wanna buy stuff from me, I do have a lot of stuff available on ruxin34.com. So it won't be from this video, but we have a lot of stuff from recent videos like PSA 10 Starlights, CGC cards, stuff like that. And uh, of course the sealed collection that I bought, we have a lot of tins left. I have some sealed booster boxes and a few other things like singles and stuff. So go check out ruxin34.com. Okay, so let's start off with this one. This one is an absolute mess. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do that. Uh, as you can tell, not very well packaged, I'll say that. So I think the guy who sent me this hasn't really dealt with shipping and sli I mean, it's an old childhood collection, so he just kind of sent it to me. But the packaging, yeah, not awesome. So I'm hoping that it, this might just be sleeves for all I can tell. There is a mat though, which is pretty interesting. So let's start off with that. Okay, let me hold this thing up. What is this, Game of Thrones? Aragon, what is this? Pretty cool looking. It kind of reminds me of Aragon with a cross of uh, Game of Thrones. That's what I think of. So that's pretty cool. I mean, we're going to see some random stuff today. So be prepared. The childhood collection. You know how I go? There is a card right here. Wait, we got some cards. Okay, so this is how we're going to have to do this. We have a token. Wait, that's not too old. Well, maybe it is. That's Destiny Hero Double, dude. So that is kind of old, actually. Uh, more tokens. Uh, these sleeves. I'm going to do the liberty of Sh for Sean and just get rid of these, these sleeves. I, I mean, okay, I'll put them back in there, but I mean, I don't think he's going to use these, but you know what? I'll keep, I'll, I'll leave him here. I'll let him decide if he wants to keep them. Okay, more sleeves, uh, stuff like that. I mean, they're they're well used, like they are childhood sleeves. So I'm going to, okay, we got some deck boxes in here. So there are some cards in here. I'm going to try to shift through and get everything. We're not going to look at every sleeve. Okay, there's a little binder in here, a card album. There is a deck box right there and a deck box. So that's nice. Uh, oh, there's a card. First card that's not a token, Empress Judge from the best set ever made, Metal Raiders, very cool. Uh, I found another token. I'm trying to get all the cards out, but that's it for that one. We also have the Duelist Pack Beginner's Guide. I'll put that back in there. 
Uh, let's go with the collector's album real quick. We'll go through the deck boxes. There's two more giant boxes after this, by the way. This is not the whole thing. So there's a lot of stuff coming up. Maybe that's where the cards came from. They were supposed to be in here. Okay, they fell out. Oh, okay. This is... Whoa! First dead Armatile. Wait, we're, whoa. I was not expecting such a nice card right off the bat. Okay, uh... Let's uh let's let's try to get this stuff without okay, Dust Bowls to golf. We have a Rose uh Warrior Revenge. That's a okay, maybe we got some good cards so far. It's actually not bad. Uh Armatile, the Chaos, Phantasm. Phantom. Now Phantasm's a different version. Uh this one is the Ancient Prophecy version, which is actually an expensive card. So we are wow, that thing's like near mint too. Oh my gosh. Let's leave that up. That's like a $100 card, I think. Beautiful. That's really good. And then, of course, the 10 promo there. I like these mini binders because I can actually show them. Iron Chain Dragon. Ultimate Rare Nitro Warrior. Okay. Ultimate Rare Nitro Warrior. I mean, there's some bangers in here so far. I honestly was not expecting much out of this. And honestly, it's looking pretty good so far for Sean. I don't know. I, I think I don't know if he just gave it to him or if he bought it from him. I really don't know what their terms were, but uh, either way, this is going to be a pretty nice collection for Sean. Uh, Honest, uh, Revive King Hades. Okay, Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. Oh, Trident Dragon. That's a big card because of the ban list. I saw this was a hundred dollar card. I don't know if that. I think that was the secret for Legendary Duel, Legendary Collection Five Ds. This one probably not a hundred, but it's probably really expensive. Ryko first ed. I mean, we're looking at some nice cards here. This is actually a really good collection. I was not expecting this collection to be this good. I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was gonna be a bunch of crap and a couple of nice cards, but so far, I mean, some bangers in here. Like we're looking at oh, defensive tactics, the one you never want to pull, but it's an ulti, so we'll take it. Eradicator epidemic virus, first ed summon skull, creature swap. I mean, we're looking at some really good stuff, actually. Some really good stuff. Okay, uh, sleeves are going everywhere. Uh, cards are. I'm not. I'm not gonna bother too much with trying to fix the cards. I'm gonna do my best just to keep. Oh, ulti chalice. Holy crap, there's some big cards in here. Well, there's another chalice behind. There's more cards. There's multiple cards in there. Okay, back's pretty clean. I think I saw something. Oh, maybe not. Okay, maybe that's not a bit. Okay, a little, little bit right there on the edge. So this is looking at like mod play because of that and a little bit of scratching. But either way, that is a beautiful ulti. Wow, childhood collection. Whoa, okay, and then another ultra chalice right behind it. Skill drain. I mean, we're looking at some bangers right here. Summon Skull Original Prince. That's really cool. Not first ed. Real Oppression, about $10 rare right there. Maybe a little bit more. And oh my goodness, what a great mini binder. Now I have high expectations for the rest. That is incredible. All right, deck box. I'm expecting first ed blue eyes now at this point. Uh, let's see what we can get uh, out of here. Okay, this is going to be an actual deck. I can tell. Yeah, yeah, it's basically a real deck. So we got Raw's Disciple. This is going to be summoning the Winged Dragon of Raw Harpy's Feather Duster from... Oh, so he actually bought some recent decks, I guess. So it's not completely a childhood collection. I mean, there's a couple. A lot of times that happens. Like people have a childhood collection. They get back into it for like a couple months and like buy a couple things. And they're like, yeah, I'm not really like that dedicated to this. So then they end up selling everything. I've seen that happen a few times. Uh, so this looks like they just bought the decks from the Egyptian gods. So that is, you know, nothing too crazy there. That's just the Egyptian god deck. I'm guessing this other one might be the same. Probably should have started with this instead of the uh, crazy binder that had like some old school crazy cards in it. So this one is trap. Oh, it's trap trick. They're both trap tricks. I think this might be the side. And then this. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. So that's just a deck trap tricks. Trap tricks was good for a while. I mean, people were actually playing it in like tournaments and stuff. So pretty decent. All right. That was a small part, by the way. Next, we have another giant box, which this one is a little bit more full. I'm guessing this is all bulk, but I really don't know after the last one. Uh, it's like four tins worth, maybe more. So let's get to it. All right, first one's the Red Dragon Archfiend tin. So we're back in 2008. Uh, this is looking like bulk, uh, but who knows? You never really know. Uh, there's, there's some cards that I, the only two cards I know of that are in here for sure are Solemn Judgment. Uh, is in here somewhere so i know at some point we're gonna have another mrd first solemn judgment i'm just gonna kind of quickly go through these where are these from they're from oh ptdn so i mean if there's some ptdn cards in here like hollows it'd be great uh and then I, apparently there's a blue eyes in here the guy uh said he saw like that we pulled the first set blue eyes and he was talking about maybe he had one but you never really know when people are like 
not super familiar with the Yu-Gi-Oh, they'll they'll ha have like the same artwork. It'll be an SKE first ed, or it'll be it'll be an unlimited LOB or something. Like 99.9% .9 of the time, it's not the one they think it is, or because they're not 100%. Like they don't know all the differences and stuff. So uh, I'm not gonna get my hopes up about that, but there should be a blue eyes of some kind in here. So I'm looking for that. Uh, I will be shocked if it is a first ed LOB, but I mean at that point it will be a crazy collection. What is this? Oh, Dark Legends. So they got some Dark Legends packs. I mean, 2008 was when they, it seems like the rest of this collection was kind of bought or at least the end of it. Uh, so it kind of makes sense that they have like Phantom Darkness, they have Dark Legends, so all that stuff from 2008. So Bestiari out of Glass first dead. So man, Magic Formula, Chaos Neo, something like that. So we went through there. Okay, that nothing too much to see there. Next one, this is a 2007 tin, the Plasma tin. So let's see. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of it's looking bulky, but I don't know if it's going to have... Because he had sleeves, so I don't know like what he decided to sleeve, what he didn't. So I'm going to run through real quick, just looking for foils. Uh, I mean, we're kind of trying to figure out what are the, all the sets are from. So CDIP, so this is a little bit older, like 2006. All right, let's see about the rest of these. So far, it's looking like a lot of... Oh... Where was it? Where was it? I saw you. Chop Man, the Desperate Outlaw. Hiya! Love Chop Man. Okay, we're looking at, there's a DB, whoa, DB1. That looked different for some reason. I don't know why Guido in there. Okay, more non-foils. Okay, it's looking like that's going to be the case for a lot of this. Um, so yeah, cool cards, great stuff. Very, oh, there he goes again. Chop Man, the Desperate Outlaw. Hiya! Like, that's, that's the case for a lot of, I mean, there's a lot of great cards in here, but not stuff that's like going to be money or value or anything like that. But all like if you were to just like make decks out of this kind of stuff, it'd be super fun. Just to like to go back old school, just, you know, all right, all we have are a bunch of commons and rares. Like you could make some fun decks because like the hollows a lot of time are good and like important for decks, but it's kind of fun to not have them sometimes. All right. On the search for hollows. Will we find any? Will we find hollows or do we start with the best part? I'm pretty. Oh, whoa. Oh, look at this. The Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. We're talking <laughs> we're talking epic card right here. That is a nice card. I'm thinking PSA 10 on this one, to be honest. Maybe a little bit off on the centering. Like, you know, it's pushed a little bit down there and maybe uh, might be might be missing something on the side. But honestly, the surface on this thing, I mean, look at it. Do you see any scratches? I don't see a single scratch on this thing. That is beautiful. Look at that. The back has absolutely no scuffing. Oh my goodness. We might have found a gem mint 10, like black label even. I mean, the centering maybe could be pushed to a 9.5, but honestly, that's nice. All right, we have more uh, more epic gem mint cards right there. What what do they do here? The Phantom of Chaos was a popular one. The Dark Creator, it's all Phantom Darkness cards. Well, because they're impossible to get even back then. So I'm not feeling good about uh, having those cards since they are <laughs> printed out on a piece of paper. Crush Card Virus. Yeah, Crush Card, that was definitely one you needed that for back then. Got some more. Oh, 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 Banisher of the Radiance from... What's that from? Oh, that's a starter deck. Okay, I was like, what is that? I didn't know what that was. Oh, the Frog, Dupe Frog. Rogue Doll, Magna Drago, Magna Drago, not Magma Dragon, Magna Drago. All right, 10 number four. Oh, wait, we got a foil. It's foil time. And it is, uh, it's Nostalgic Condition. <laughs> Let's check out this Nostalgic Condition card. How's it looking? Did this one see the washer? Probably. Was this one taken to a water park and uh, left in the pocket of a swimsuit? Potentially. The the integrity of this card is uh, not great anymore. It feels very, very flimsy. Okay, so I had a Thunder Dragon. That's a foil though. Hey, we've, we haven't seen those in a while, so that's cool. Okay, keep it going. We got those shiny sleeves. These are classic, these super shiny ones. Royal Decree, what's that from? That's from SD5, okay. See if there's anything else cool. Oh, Don Salute, Gold Rare. Okay, we got some. That's, I love the Don, very cool. Oh, there's a top loader in here. Uh oh, there's a flower wolf. I can't get it out. But uh, top loader in here. We got CPO4 champion pack. That's cool. And this is the solemn judgment, it looks like. Okay, so here's the solemn judgment we heard about. The rumor of the solemn judgment. Let's see what kind of condition it's in. This thing is not solemn judgment. <laughs> not mint. Uh, corner issue, bend, top edge right there. But compared to the uh, Twin Head Thunder Dragon, it looks great. This one I would pro potentially have a heavy play, but. I mean, pretty, pretty decent, you know, for a childhood collection. There could be a lot worse. It's not been washed or anything. That's great. Okay, what else do we have? Anything else in these? We still have a whole other box, by the way. So I don't know what's going to happen there. Okay, that looks like, oh my gosh, what is happening here? Those are all stuck together somehow. 
That's a little scary. Okay. Stuck together. It's in sleeves anyway. Okay. Darth Maul awaiting orders right there. Um, we have, ooh, a fake Dark Paladin. That's cool. It's a, it's, <laughs> it's a fake of the ultimate rare version. Like you can tell it's supposed to be an ulti. That's hilarious. Okay. That'd be cool if that actually was the ulti. That would be pretty wild actually. Okay, so, so far, we definitely started off with the best part. Uh, that binder definitely had some bangers in it. I would expect that that probably is the best part. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna eyeball this, see if I see anything unusual. Uh, cause based on what I'm looking like, that looks like all commons. Cause I've been able to tell right away if it has foils. We're not gonna need to go through every common. Just for the sake of your time, because I know this could be, end up being a crazy video. So this looks like, um, that is like Ancient Sanctuary stuff. Uh, there's Metal Raiders. Ojama Black is Dark Crisis, I think. There's a oh, living wonder of mystery. There he was. Oh, I lost him. Okay, living wonder of mystery is in there, but unfortunately no foils. All right, last 10 of this box, and we have one more box to open, which is wild. Um, Okay, we got some sleeves. That's a good sign, maybe. It might just be a deck, but either way, it's still cool. Let's see. This is a little bit different, so we'll go through this. Uh, Book of Moon, got you by your panda. This is some sort of old school deck. Yeah, this is like giant rat. It's like earth stuff. It's got goblin attack for cyber sign in there. That's cool. Maybe we got an extra deck then. That's cool. Um, let's see. Flip that around. Chaos sword. Oh, BLS. Okay. I think I might have mixed two down. Oh, a couple solemn judgments. Not first ed, but original print. That's beautiful. Okay. So a couple nice cards in there. I like these original decks. They're very fun. Very exciting. Very nostalgic. Trap does shoot. That's a few dollars for, for the rare first ed as well. Um, Graceful Charity, cool. Pot of Greed, that is not legal. Metamorphosis, we have a, so it's an old, old deck because it's definitely not legal now or for a long time. Delinquent Duo, same thing with that one. That's a really nice card though. Thunder Dragon, Tribe Infecting Virus, change of heart. We've got the Jar of Greed, Jar of Greed, Injection Fairy Lily. Oh, Exile Force, not a foil. Okay, so a couple of these are foils. Heavy Storm's a foil. Super rare. We have a another trap dust shoot, which is really good. A relinquish from SDP. So I'm guessing, still guessing that blue eyes is gonna be S S Y E. That's my guess. Or SKE. Sorry, it can't be S Y E. Somehow Yugi got a hold of blue eyes. Okay, so that one was pretty cool. There's a few nice cards in there. All right, on to the last box. It's been a, I mean, honestly, a pretty good collection. I mean, a lot, a lot of like commons and stuff. That's what you expect out of childhood collections. All right, Jaden Yuki time. Uh, this is probably bulk, but just in case, it's a smaller one. So I'm gonna. Really hard to get these out of the tins. That's why I've never liked tins as like storage because it's so hard to get the cards out of there. They like want to stick to the bottom and stuff. You got to like turn the tin over. It's very annoying. Uh, this is a little bit newer stuff. This is like 5Ds. So this is kind of like the end of the era, I guess, when this guy was into Yu-Gi-Oh until he came back for a little bit. Okay, that's all common stuff. Next, we have all the way back in 2004 tin. So I don't, I think this is Insect Queen. Oh my gosh, my Insect Queen. All right, that looks like all commons from what i can tell let's see if we can get a little glimpse of what's going on blasting the runes i think it's ancient sanctuary okay common stuff another destiny hero plasma so going in on the plasma let's see if there's anything crazy up here lore of darkness <laughs> so he has real lore of darkness and then he had the fake lore of darkness interesting oh bls there we go there's the bls is it first ed so he has syE so now, uh, now I'm really feeling it. Oh, oh, foils. That's why yeah, I'm thinking uh, potentially SKE is, is what I'm thinking. Okay. A lot of rares in here, though. Dark Magician, SY, SDY. Got some wear on it. Beautiful card. Oh, first Ed, Terror King Archfiend. That's cool. A, another first Ed, Terror King Archfiend, SYE, Dark Magician. Okay. Blue Eyes is coming. I have a feeling. I got a feeling. Ooh, ooh. Oh, Iris the Earth Mother, Ultimate Rare from CDIP. Okay. Few ulties in this collection, Thenan. Uh, everybody thinks when they, uh, you know, get back into it, they're like, I have these rare cards of the Sphinx cards. Yeah, you guys know they, they're not rare. Okay, we have Rocket Warrior, Gladiator Beast. We have the Kaiser Seahorse. Yep, okay, the Kaiser Seahorse. We are, he has an SKE deck. We already saw, there it is. And it's in it's in nostalgic condition. So yeah, unfortunately, the hope is now, is now dashed. Well, it's not necessarily, it could still be in here, but that is that is probably the one he was talking about. We have the Cyber Dragon from the tin, beautiful. Snowman Eater. I got a lot of foils in this one, actually. Dark Creator, Secret Rare from ooh, Phantom Darkness. We finally got a Phantom Darkness card, and then the Super Rare versions. A lot of nice stuff. This is actually a really solid tin right here with all the stuff we're getting. Ooh, Grand Neos. We got the Ultimate Dragon, Blood's Ultimate. Ooh, Retro Pack 1, that's actually pretty nice. 
Oh, check this out. A misprint. Elemental Hero Rampart Blaster. The name is shifted up. That's going to add some value to that. That's pretty dope. Okay, we're looking at... This is a really good 10. Uh, Reaper on the Nightmare. Very popular right now. Very expensive. Cyber End Dragon from DR04. That's actually probably money too. Uh, DP1 Flame Wingman. This is a very strong 10 right here. Queen of Thorns. Um, addition Black Chaos. Beautiful. Not expensive, but very classic. We have the First Ed SDP at Relinquish. The MC1. Dang, that one kind of went ham right there. I wonder if there's more in here. Another Kaiser Seahorse. So we might actually have multiple blue eyes here. Uh, Necro Shade. Cool. Classic. Uh, oh, the pieces of Exodia. We've got a, uh, what is that? A Spanish one. We've got a DLG one. We've got a LOB one. That's cool. Left arm LOB on limb. We have, he's got all the different pieces. Does he have a head though? Uh, Z Metal Tank. Oh, DD Warrior First Edition. D Warrior Lady, I should say. Oh, you have all right. Oh, oh, oh. I'm getting shivers of evil. Submarine Roid. Stay away from me. I, I, I can't avoid them. Even in old school collections, they're still there. Vermilla, we got some black wings, more rares here. Vanity's Fiends, uh, Stardust Dragon Assault Mode, classic. Red Eye Zombie Dragon. Man, this is a really good 10. A lot of good stuff in here. Supercharge, a classic that you don't ever want to pull. Uh, okay, why do I feel like I passed something? Oh, I did. Blasting Fuse, Ultimate Rare. I was like, I thought I saw something. An Ultimate Rare in there. You just never know. Like these old school, like, they won't even be sleeved. An unsleeved Ultimate Rare. It's pretty wild. Call the Haunted, a DB1. Amazonas Archer's seen that a lot recently. Anything else? Royal Oppression. A few dollars for that rare. A lot of solid cards in here. Pulling the Rugs, another one that we just passed. It's good. We have the... Burst Return, Fusion Sage, TP6, a TP6 Hollow. That's pretty nice. Arm Changer Ultimate Rare, very nice. Uh, Dark World Dealings, a lot of solid stuff. Ulti Spark Blaster, First Ed, a little bent up, but pretty nice. Hero Flash Ulti, I mean, some good cards in here. There are some good cards in here. It's a really solid one. The Stardust Dragon Tin came open, so maybe there was something trying to escape because it was so epic. Uh oh, what is this? What card game is this? Gathering, a uh, Gatling Sky Terror. Oh, Dual Masters. I had some of these. I sold the sealed boxes, but we did have some uh, Dual Masters for a little bit. That's pretty cool to see. Okay, this looks like it might have something because it's sleep. Oh, it's a Dual Masters deck. Dual Masters deck. If you guys are Dual Masters fans, you maybe will understand this. I do not. And then we have, to finish it off, two more Duelist Pack Collection 10s. It's shaking around. What is that? Okay, that is... Okay, there is a... There are... Oh, an Ultimate Rare. That would be Mermillo as well. Ultimate, oh, to, oh, oh, Ted's Tiger. That's actually a nice one. And then there's a ultra rare back there. That's actually, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this and uh, yeah, just so it's not gonna be, it didn't, you know, this 10 is kind of gonna bounce them around. Ultimate rare first dead from glass. That's actually a really nice ulti. Uh, okay, Thunder King Ryo, huge card too. I'm gonna pull that out real quick. Uh, Gladder Beast Best Aretiari. I asked, I think Lewis this on the uh, Guess That Price episode or season two. So that's pretty funny to see that secret rare. Test Tiger, Thunder King Ryo. I mean, those are expensive. The Thunder King Ryos, that's really nice. Uh, War Chariot's good too. Uh, more Gladiator B stuff. Go Yo. Okay, that that would have been a big ulti. Secret Rare Stardust, Armory Arm. Hey, Magical Android's pretty expensive. Doesn't have a reprint. Uh, oh, Red Dragon Archfiend. A lot of side deck or extra deck cards. Another Test Tiger, number three. Monster Reborn Unlim. That is LOB, right? Yeah, okay. And then Gore, Secret Rare from DLG. Okay, that's some good stuff in it. And then the final one, rattling around a little bit. Let's see what it is. Next Necro Valley is pretty epic, actually. It's a good common, but not a foil or anything. Okay, Kalut for Simo, and a bunch more comments. Okay, so overall, pretty cool video. Honestly, there's a lot more cool stuff in there than I was expecting. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe. If you want to see more stuff like this, like childhood collections, let me know, and maybe we can make it happen. And if you want to buy stuff from me, don't forget to check out Ruxin34.com. And Legacy of Destruction is coming out in like less than a week now. So if you want to pre-order it, go check out Sassy Auto's link down below. It's an affiliate link for me. It supports the channel, and I appreciate it if you do that. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Puff and Zudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Nana Sai Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barney, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.